Open any real-time map of global ship traffic and you'll witness a mesmerizing ballet of tiny dots crisscrossing the oceans. Each dot represents a vessel, a vital cog in the intricate machinery of global trade. Zoom in closer and the true scale of these vessels becomes apparent, especially those colossal behemoths known as container ships. These gargantuan vessels, some longer than the Empire State Building is tall, serve as the workhorses of our interconnected world, transporting everything from electronics and clothing to machinery and food across continents. We see the bustling arteries of commerce connecting Asia's manufacturing hubs to consumer markets in Europe and North America. Yet a closer look reveals a curious absence. The largest of these container ships, the Ultra Large Container Ships ULCS, often bypass the coastlines of the United States. The story of container shipping begins not on the high seas, but with a simple yet revolutionary idea, the standardized shipping container. Before the advent of containerization in the mid-20th century, loading and unloading cargo was a labor-intensive and time-consuming affair. Goods were often handled individually, leading to delays, damage and theft. Enter Malcolm McLean, an American trucking entrepreneur who envisioned a more efficient system. His brainchild, the ISO container, a standardized steel box designed to be easily loaded, stacked and transported by trucks, trains and ships, would revolutionize global trade. In 1956, McLean shipped the Ideal X, set sail from Newark, New Jersey to Houston, Texas, carrying 58 containers. This marked the birth of containerization, drastically reducing shipping costs and slashing loading times. The impact of containerization was profound, streamlining logistics and fueling globalization. The evolution of container ships has been marked by a relentless pursuit of economies of scale. As global trade expanded, shipping lines sought ever larger vessels to maximize cargo capacity and reduce per unit shipping costs. This led to a race to build ships that could carry more and more containers, pushing the boundaries of naval engineering. The Panama Canal, a vital waterway connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, played a pivotal role in this size race. The canal's dimensions imposed limitations on the size of ships that could transit, leading to the emergence of the Panamax standard. However, as demand for larger vessels grew, shipbuilders began to push beyond the Panamax limits, creating post-Panamax ships. This was followed by the Neo-Panamax class, even larger vessels designed to take advantage of the expanded Panama Canal locks that opened in 2016. Today, the largest container ships afloat are classified as ultra-large container ships, ULCS, boasting capacities of over 20,000 20-foot equivalent units, TEU. While ultra-large container ships, or ULCS, have become a common sight in major Asian and European ports, they are a rarity along the coastlines of the United States. This is due to a combination of factors, including outdated infrastructure-limited channel depths and a lack of investment in port expansion projects. Many U.S. ports were built decades ago when container ships were a fraction of their current size. As a result, these ports lack the deep water channels, large cranes and expansive terminals needed to accommodate ULCS vessels. Dredging channels to accommodate the deeper drafts of these mega ships is a costly and complex undertaking, often facing regulatory hurdles and environmental concerns. Furthermore, the height of ULCS ships poses another challenge with many U.S. ports lacking the crane height and air draft clearance needed to load and unload containers from these towering vessels. Upgrading cranes and raising bridges to accommodate ULCS ships requires significant investment and can disrupt existing infrastructure and transportation networks. The result is that many U.S. ports are simply not equipped to handle the largest container ships forcing these vessels to bypass American shores. The decision to upgrade port infrastructure to accommodate ULCS ships is not without its critics. While proponents argue that such investments are essential to remain competitive in the global economy, opponents raise concerns about the environmental impact and the potential for these projects to benefit a select few at the expense of taxpayers. Dredging projects can disrupt marine ecosystems, stir up sediment, and release pollutants into the water column. The increased ship traffic associated with larger vessels also raises concerns about air and noise pollution, as well as the potential for collisions with marine life. Furthermore, critics argue that the economic benefits of accommodating ULCS ships may be overstated. While these vessels may bring in more cargo, they also require significant investments in infrastructure, which may not be recouped through port fees or increased economic activity. 
balancing the economic imperatives of global trade with the need to protect the environment and ensure equitable economic benefits remains a significant challenge for policymakers and port authorities. Upgrading U.S. ports for ULCS ships requires substantial investment. Dredging projects alone can cost billions. New cranes, larger terminals and improved connections add tens of billions. Funding these projects is a significant hurdle. Federal funding lags behind other nations. Port authorities rely on private investment and local funding. The fragmented U.S. port system hinders development. Strategic investments and coordination are essential. The future of U.S. ports depends on modernization. The future of container shipping is marked by both opportunities and challenges. The relentless pursuit of efficiency and economies of scale is likely to continue, driving the development of even larger and more technologically advanced ships. However, this growth must be balanced with environmental sustainability, social responsibility, and the need for robust and resilient supply chains. One trend shaping the industry is the growing focus on environmental sustainability. Shipping lines are under increasing pressure to reduce their carbon footprint, leading to investments in alternative fuels, energy-efficient ship designs, and technologies to reduce emissions. Ports are also exploring ways to minimize their environmental impact, such as shore power connections that allow ships to plug into the electrical grid while at berth, reducing emissions from idling engines. Another key trend is the digitalization of the shipping industry. From smart containers equipped with sensors to track cargo in real time to blockchain-based platforms that streamline documentation and improve transparency, technology is transforming the way goods are shipped around the world. As the world grapples with the impacts of climate change, geopolitical uncertainty, and evolving consumer demands, the container shipping industry will play a pivotal role in shaping the future of global trade.